Let's go. Last series of the day. Frank's Lithuanians, Lear Vinces, look at both kids, because both are kids. <laughs> yes, man. And uh, colors, we have green and purple. We can play with the original colors for sure. Let's go with the fast speed, not super fast. The first button, Mr. Mister yep. Kira. And we check about the ships and the maps. But first of all, the civilizations, Frank's or Lithuanians? Yeah, so both both of them picked very early in the draft, and it's hard to say what's better, honestly. It's hard. I think Franks have the better early game or mid game, but Lithuanians, if they start getting the relics, can be dangerous. They also get the 150 free food on the starts. Seems pretty good. And, and by the way, I, I, yeah. I just want to point out that everyone is a kid to, to Mem. Just going to point that out real quick. I love you too. <laughs> I love you too. Thank you, man. Thank you for calling me granddaddy. Oh, I have God. to, man. <laughs> But, but man, if the game go longer, I have to admit that I prefer Lithuanians, man. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. they get breasts, they get... I don't know, I think if the game go longer, they should be more... I mean, stronger? What they have a lot of good options as well. They have the full monk tech tree with the faster monasteries. They also have full trash, like halberdier and skirmisher with all upgrades. Almost like you're missing only one arm on the halbs. So they have a lot more options than Franks do. But the, on the other side, Franks do get a lot of good eco bonuses in the mid game, which could actually snowball the, the game. So let's take a look and see what strategies each player will go for here. Okay, uh, Lear usually love to go for the early aggression, but look at Lear, man. Focus completely. Look at the wood line. He's already completely wall mm -hmm. because he's expecting maybe Vincenter for going for the crazy strategy, but Vincenter is playing standard, not going for the early barrack. Yeah, uh, however, these walls around the wood line, they're really good versus any infantry. Mi militia, men at arms. It's always good to have these. So Larry is just playing a little bit safe here. Just playing a little bit safer. Okay. And, and I like that. I like that. I, I am I am here uh, still in six minutes because I'm going faster speed but not super fast. So I didn't yep. catch up li the live complete game now. We will do it. Sorry for, for this, but guys, the EGO, sometimes it, it happens. But still, we will get there. Actually, we're avoiding, which is it's interesting, but it's the less exciting part of the Dark Age. And we're getting closer and closer to be into the Feudal Age with mm -hmm. Leary up. 8 minutes 55, 19 population. Yeah, and now we're seeing Winchester going with the barracks as well. He wants to go 21 population. So a little bit slower than Leary here, but uh, but it looks like he will go for man-at-arms. He has two on the gold already. Yeah, and then Leary usually that always love to go, in my opinion, more with the Arches approach, but he's going to go with scouts, it seems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks like he's going to go for the scouts. And look, he's walling in everything. Everything is being walled in now from Leary. He's playing it so safe, he does not want to lose anything to these early militia or men at arms. And now, by the scouting of Leary, he knows exactly what's happening as he scouts the mining camp. Okay, stable going up, double B tags, but the militias are coming. And like you said, this is gonna be this is gonna be good for who? Because if he's sending one spear, I'm I'm really curious to see. He's sending the spear. Do you see what we were talking before? He's sending the spear before the Menatam upgrade. Yeah. And he's going with four militia. This is a big rush from Winchester. But keep in mind that Leary has already defended with the walls. So will the four militia do any damage here or not? Well, let's see. Four men at arms already. And he's going counter-attack as fast as possible. He's already killing Villiers. He's already killing Villiers. Not really. Didn't kill anything at all. Bad, but 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 they need to go. Oh, he didn't lose it. He didn't kill anything. And one scout is down. Yep, Spearman coming in. Nice defense from Winchester. Uh, also, one spear from Leary went down at his base. Leary forced to go back. I like the idea of the catch attack, but Winchester defended pretty well here. I like that. Do you know what I like when this is the, this situation? The stable, and now we are completely live finally. The stable maybe should be on the TC range. You yeah. know, because look, he, he's attacking, and I mean, he's forcing him to have ability to repair, but. Oh. I mean, where he's doing now the RG range, he would have that problem. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Um, he now he has to repair because of that. It's hard to really predict all of this, you know, in advance. But that's yeah. a good point, man. In hindsight, for sure. Okay. Well, uh, it's much easier to watch, guys. We know yeah. it's much, much easier to watch than to play, <laughs> obviously. But we have also to to give some some input. You know that uh, that well, if you are playing, if you make this table where he did the RG range, he wouldn't have these problems. And now. This is a the problem, archer. because the yeah. stable, the stable can be down. Yeah, and the archer is doing, it's enough to force the villager away. Leary has one archer as well of his own, so he's going to try to defend. He doesn't want to lose the stable, he's trying to repair desperately, might even lose the villager for it. I don't know if he's going to go back. Now, he should go back now, but he has the skirmisher already. Well, with the skirmisher, he might deal with the archer. 
Okay. But a lot of idle time though. A lot of idle time for Leary repairing the stable. Yeah. Well, he he lost two units, while Vincester didn't lose anything at all. The yep. scout is still alive. That's the good thing. One thing that is good for Leary. Look at his farming count right now. Seventeen farmers. Well, 10, 12 for, for Winchester. Uh, Leary's economy is still is still gonna be good. Yeah, and, and now Winchester is also making a tower defensively at his gold. It will keep his gold safe, it will keep his wood safe as well. And uh, it's not looking too bad for him, for sure. Not looking too bad at all. But I, I never liked that much those kind of towers. Isn't better to make a little bit more forward? Like, because if the other game uh, guy uh, was coming now aggressive, he can still deny that goal with that tower, I don't know. Like in front, the, the tower is it better. Like, yeah, but the, I think at the back he wants to defend a little bit the wood line as well. That's what it felt okay. like to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure though, but yeah, you can definitely make an argument that's maybe a little bit too defensive. We'll see. Okay, he's trying to go around with the scout. I'm gonna put Lee a point of view. Fog of war. He still can't make any damage. Winchester defending really, really well. To be honest, he has a lot of army too. But now both players got pretty much the same population. Yeah, and now Leary's going to go for the forward gold as well. So he's now going to try and take that forward gold. And uh, it looks like it looks like he has full control of the game with the skirmish and scouts. It's one of the strongest compositions now. And uh, eventually he's just going to try to go for the infantry. Infantry approach. Spear, men at arms. Now adding a stable as well. Okay. Well, going for the scouts now. And uh, let's see, man. Very interesting situation here. I mean... I just, I fear that Leary might undercommit to Feudal Age and the Winchester with the stable might actually be able to overrun him, especially yeah, yeah, with that forward but gold. Wait, 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 because he's in time. No, he's got a wall, man. The scout yeah, just... Walls. He's got the wall. Well, okay. Yeah. Maybe too greedy then, uh, Leary, you think? Uh, or he should make a tower in, the, in his own gold, maybe. Yeah, I think, um, I think Leary is not the kind of player that wants to do the tower um, in his own gold preemptively. But I do agree that in this position, it would be a nice uh, nice addition. It just depends on how heavy Vinchester wants to go in Fuel Age. It looks like Vinchester is saving up for Castle Age, though. Yeah, well, now uh, now uh, Leary did even Fletching, so okay. Well, they both have the Fletching, they will borrow now as well. Man, it's so close at this point, at least in numbers. It, it, it's the same, actually. They are not taking the battles because they, they feel like if you take a bad battle now, it can be... Well, not the game, but big advantage. Yeah, definitely. It's very, very tight position for both players. And Winchester is going around with some uh, with some units. Larry's trying to wall, but he's not going to be in time. He's not going to be in time. And those are four men at arms, four archers with with fletching. Oh boy, that's going to be tough. He's doing the tower in the goal, but yep. but that wood line is going to be in danger. It's definitely going to be in danger. He's trying to attack. He got everything forward. Everything forward the kid, but the other kid, <laughs> just there. Yeah, man, because come on. Uh oh, but he noticed instantly. Oh, good instantly. reaction. Good reaction. But He's still gonna lose a from Winchester. Yeah, yeah, at least one goes down. Really good sneak attack from Winchester. I really like that play, actually. And uh, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. He's in a better position now because he's on the way to Castle Age. While now, Leary is gonna put the plus one armor. He's gonna put the plus one armor, okay. He's doing a good job here with the skirmishes though. He's killing a lot, a lot of the units, but he's clicking up to Castellage. Well, Leary Ooh. with the plus one armor is gonna clean everything probably here. Let's see. Uh, I don't think he wins that fight actually. No, no, no. I think he'll lose it, yeah. Does he win? He, he loses this fight. He needed some skirmishes or something. Leary's gonna lose this fight. He also lost two villagers on the, on the wood and one on the farm, so Advantage Winchester right now, who is actually up faster than Leary by 30%. Both of them made a tower. Looking good for Winchester here. Yeah, it's looking good. What is crazy is how with the skill button armor and everything managed to have the micro also to go up. But still, like you said, he won that battle now coming with the skirm. Well, he wants to deal with the, with the archer. Let's see the micro is doing some palisade walls. But he's looking good for the Russian. This is getting so interesting. Leary in problems. Yeah, and uh, Winchester is going to go for two stable now knights. And the thing is with Lithuanians that their knights could be stronger than Frank knights if they pick up a couple relics. Uh, you know, the Frank knights get the free bloodlines or free HP, but Lithuanians have better potential in Castleage. So, especially with the faster up, you can pick up some relics now. Yeah, and now the men at arms are doing the job. But man, after all this, just look. Leary still have more army. 
And he has lost three villages and is still only one. Oh, that's open. The blast is open. He need to he need Ooh. to notice that archer. I mean, it's open. He has to be careful. Of course, I mean he's still not fully walled, but Leary didn't notice, and the hole is still there. Yep. And now only now the second stable from Leary will go down. Whereas Winchester already castage with two stable knights attacking. And like I said, immediately a monastery now from Winchester. He wants those relics. He wants those relics. Definitely won the relics. He's really won the relics. Winchester 40 villains, Leary 38. Look at the military numbers. But now the military numbers doesn't matter a lot, uh, at all because he's a skirmishers. And he probably don't want to make any skirmishers, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the skirmisher, their their life is over at this point. Like, they were just for the feudal age. It's not going to matter in Castlage. Castlage would just be for knights and monks, most likely now at the start. Okay. Three villages, be three villages behind, similar army, the score difference is, well, I don't think it should be that big, but still, now we see now he's doing nice with double stable, yeah. it's still open, man, he's still open with that, in that, in that side, it's crazy, how the planet and that palace, there is a small hole, crazy. Oh my god, the archer from Winchester, there's a 1 HP build, and there he loses another villager, at the loop line there, on the top, to I one see, archer, man. yeah. That's four wheels down from Leary. Your wheel counter is working, by the way, ma'am, so that's good news. But uh, yeah, yeah. four wheels down now for Leary, and nothing in exchange. Oh my god, you see everything, Mr. Hero. What the hell? You see absolutely everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm co-caster. It's my job, man. I have to okay. just look at stuff. <laughs> yeah, but you also see even the stream. What the hell? Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much. Oh man, but now it's a problem. He's gonna wall. He need to wall a little. He kinda let the knights inside and maybe it's gonna be okay. No, it's not okay. It's really not okay. Leo is still in problems. Ooh, man. He's still coming with more knights. Now he blocked that gate. He need to block the gate. And that's a good trap. Got yeah, the monk and he's going to convert. Okay. He's holding somehow, but Winchester is definitely taking the lead. Yeah, and the thing is, Leary now has to do some damage because Winchester, he's up two TCs, he's now picking up some relics, already has one relic there. So I think Leary needs to start raiding. Maybe plan a tech switch to Pikeman later, we have to wait and see. But right now he's very far behind. Yeah, he's doing the house, but I think Leary is gonna go one TC. Hmm. But, uh, but Winchester has army to defend, he has the plus two. Already because Vincent got one relic, so he got the plus two attack. Those knights are definitely better. He has to be really careful. Lear is still ahead in army, but he's a little bit fake because he's still with some skirmishers. Yes, and those skirmishers are pretty much useless at this point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, skirmishers will not do too much, and now... Vinchester just wants to defend as Leary goes for the raids. Already snaps one monk, and Vinchester forced to go back. Now conversion on the front for Leary. Looking decent for Leary, he's getting some good trades here. Let's take a look. Chain Bard in armor, plus two, he's gonna try to go to the wood line, he's trying to go raid one important upgrade, one massive upgrade in my opinion in this kind of situation is husbandry, and he got the husbandry, so right now he can pick and go back and also yep. run away from knights from, uh, from Winchester. Exactly, exactly, the mobility, we've seen how strong it is in the decoff and doubt set, and now Leary is doing the same thing with his mobility and looking to get the raids down. Four bills from Winchester at the stone. Oh, that's wow. not too good, man. That's not that's too good. That's massive. That's massive. <laughs> he didn't even notice. He lose them all. Lose them all. He's now coming with more knives. The kit. One of the kit is coming. Let's see this battle. He need to go back. Remember that it's still better upgrades. But what do you prefer? Plus two defense or plus two attack? At this point, it seems to be more solid. The defense, but man, plus three attack is going to be now for Winchester. But the numbers from Leary is just insane numbers. I told you. Want to see... P -p push yeah and he's gonna go all in and you know what these skirms can maybe snipe a monk or two that's not too bad he got three conversions and you know what the lithuanian attack is nice but if Leary will convert the knights he also will have the attack for himself Ooh. you know what i mean good point man yeah he keep the attack but now he's going to convert one one of the knights i don't know if he should stay there he should go with the skirms he converted one of the knight now he's coming with more monks in this situation Leary at tc's or he should go siege now all in, but not siege. Oh, he's adding a TC. I think he should go all in, but not siege. He should go more monks, more knights. No siege. More monks, more knights. Exactly this. And go all in. And look Ooh. to get better trades. But, but he's he converting some knights. He's converting some knights, Winchester. Now he deleted. Okay. That was good. He has to be killed. But he's taking the monastery. He wants to kill the monastery. This is important because he knows that those knights are dangerous. Really dangerous. But he has to be careful. He's still the more knights. And the monastery is down. So now he loses all the Abris. And this battle can be the game, amigo Hira. Man, 
taking out the monastery, these knights no longer have plus one attack. So Winchester is now only defending with few knights and few monks. The thing is, he has a lot of monks production and sanctity on the monks. So they're actually very tanky. But Leary has more numbers. He has more, more numbers. numbers. He's crazy. He's raiding absolutely everything. Look at the knights. And now the numbers keep growing and growing. Vili's number is almost the same. And Leary... It's going to pick another monk or not. Ooh, he's going to, to convert something. He should take the relics, right? Now that he has the monk there, pick the relics. Uh, I think he should convert to the monk first. Convert to the monk first, win the battle, and then take the relics afterwards. He's doing really good trades now. Wow. Town center from Winchester, what? What is that TC, man? He's doing in your city in Canada, man. What the hell is that TC? <laughs> what is that TC? That does not make any sense to me, but okay. Well, okay. Ah, looks like he's stabilizing for now. He's stabilized, but now, remember, um, Vince has got advantage, a big one. Now he has the same village as Leary with 20 other villages. He'd need to fix his economy to, 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 yeah. And now Leary is in that, in that situation that he loves to be, with initiative, yeah. being aggressive, and uh, with similar economy. The thing is, now two relics went in for Winchester, so... Yes, there has initiative, but at the same time, a lot of power behind Winchester military here with a free plus two attack on the knights. Uh, let's take a look and see if, if Leary can continue the pressure, though. He's, he's got more numbers for now. He did also uh, the light cavalry, but he's taking the monks. He's taking another monk. Do you think he's going to try to kill a guy in the monastery? Man, I, I really think the husbandry has been very, very important in all, in all these battles. Does Winchester still not have husbandry? I don't believe he, it, really. He's doing he now. He doesn't have it. He's okay, doing he's doing it now. now. Okay. Yeah, that, that was a bit like... In my opinion, husbandry is one of the most important texts for, for knight versus knight battles, in my opinion. Okay, the next step. Uh, what? Maybe a castle forward? Do you think uh, Leo need to make transition to pike or just keep going with stable knights and with now three TCs, both players' smooth economy? I think, uh, I think Leary has to transition to something. Either more monks and pressure or pikemen transition with forward castle can be okay. But, uh, or maybe not even forward castle, just how about your transition. But I do think that... You can't fight the Lithuanian knights once they get two, three relics in long term. Yeah, and right now he got two relics. Those are plus three. He has to be careful. No, no, no. He got a few mugs. But I like how he's sending the light cast from some other spot. And he's forcing, he's forcing Winchester to have so many idols during a long time. So many idols, man. Look at the farm, on, the farm economy now for Leary. 33 farmers. 33 farmers and touch economy for a long time. Now 26. And 26 now has been like 15 for a while. And the wood line. Open, man. It's open. There's a hole and Ooh. killing now. So many villages in the wood line, Mr. Hero. That's five, six villages going down. Also, Leary is on the front <laughs> taking out the villages under the town center of Winchester. This is crazy gameplay here. And he has wow. the weaker army, but he's raiding literally everywhere with the better Frank Eco. Three TCs now for both. Leary's up 15 villages now. No, he's, he's coming back from the hell. Leary is just getting now in a fantastic position to get it. Now, how he can lose. What to do now? Keep pumping nice all the time since he saw the, the, the huge advantage he got. Yeah, I think just continue doing what he's doing. He's got light cap to deal with the monks and knights to deal with everything else pretty much. So... Just continue getting initiative, continue raiding on the side, and Winchester is not able to keep up here. Simply not, simply simply put. Yeah, what, what is really, really incredible is how he was behind five villages, and with his uh, decisions, he just came back, man. Yep. Yeah, decisions, good raids, uh, you know, smart, uh, you know, engagements, and with the monks at, at the start, he got some really good, good trades, and now he's going for a double barracks, pikeman transition, most likely, and also taking out the monastery. He really wants to wow. take it out. Yeah, he need to kill it because he knows that the advantage here for Vincent that he can keep in the game is that he's not gonna take it now, but he will take in the next attack probably. He has another monk here to, to do the job. Hira Lee has lost in the whole game four villages, Vincester only 27. Wow, and it was four to zero by the way. Four to zero, now 27 villagers from Vincester went down. Uh, and uh, by the way, Vincester almost has enough for a castle now. The thing is, he has no eco of anything else at this point. Everything, he doesn't have enough eco to produce knights consistently. Whereas Leary, much better resources right now. Much better resources and can also afford a castle very soon.
Uh, the castle will be great where the monk is right now and the knights, right? Don't need to go yep. uh, farther. Like, there is, is a good spot. Don't need to go too, <laughs> too far. He has to be careful because we just now managed to have some good army. And that army is plus four knights. Be careful because it's plus four knights. And those knights, but the numbers here, it was better. He's trying to kill that, that monk. That's why he's doing the uh, the Pike Van upgrade, and you yep. can see now how Winchester is doing a forward cast. But let's see this battle and who's taking those. That's a really good cast for Winchester. He's gonna, he's gonna control all the hills, and it's not that forward. It's not that risky. So it actually will control him the game a little bit. The problem is Leary has a big economy lead now, and uh, he also has the Pikeman switch that's already down. Yeah, but he has to be careful now. Ooh, that castle won't go up for Leary. That castle nope. won't go up, I believe. He has to delete it, he's trying to make it in the spot where they are fighting, but there's a castle already here for Winchester, and I believe he's in the range. Do you think he's gonna be able to do it? No, no, no. No, absolutely no, no, not. No. Absolutely no, no, not. No. He has to run away. Leary. Yeah, he's gonna run away. Perfect. And, uh, yo, Winchester may be coming back here for the second time. Another comeback of this game for Leary. Now, looks like Winchester might do it. Uh, Leary has to go find another spot for his castle, and I think Winchester has the stronger army now if he goes full castle age. He's now getting plus two armor. Looking yeah. okay with the mobility. Yeah, I mean, if now that he's behind in economy, just try to go full push. How do you stop those plus four knights? That's why Leary is doing the castle at home. But man, the knights are coming. He's gonna raid down Leary's base, and I mean, if he lost 33 villages, he has to be careful because those knights can take absolutely everything now. Yeah, the thing is, Vincent just ungarrisoned his relics for some reason. He's putting them what? back in now. Yeah, by accident. Okay. But he'll put them back in now, so no big deal. I thought I'd point that out, though. And uh, yeah, now it's uh, up to Vinci to use the mobility, and there's a hole in Leary's base. Oh, no, oh, he won it! He won it in the last second, Squires. Man, it's the worst moment that he should make that uh, drop in the relics, because now he was going with all the. Na okay, he got the relics back just, just in time. Man, he's, he's, he's crazy. Of course, he has a lot more villains, but this, this army from Vincent looks scary. Yeah, and the thing is, Vinci now with. Latest production, which costs less gold. He's now making some archers to counter the pikemen. He's going all in castleage. He's, he doesn't care about imperial age right now. I hope, for Leary's sake, that he does the same. If Leary tries to go imperial age, I think he might lose a lot of momentum and potentially lose the game. It's possible because you are 30 villages ahead, but this army for Lithuania is insane. It's still only seven villages on goal. He need a lot, a lot more on goal to go up. Of course, he has. Man, Leary has. 60 farmers i mean like 60 farmers almost double the farmers than his opponent but it's just a still with more army I man yeah. like this 12 plus 5 attack and by the way they ignore all melee armor 12 Oof. they deal 17 attack to anything any unit they touch so that wow. is pretty incredible that's pretty incredible they are pretty sick Absolutely. Some more knights raiding. Like he need another castle to defend. He has the pikes, but he need to make more army. The game is so damn interesting. I don't know if Vincent is gonna come with another castle. And where is Leah going to make a castle? I will do where the pikes are in the north. I don't know what you think. One castle there to defend that Golan stone would yeah, be perfect for Leary. Hill. Yeah, I like that one as well. He has one castle on the front, one castle on the side. Looks like Leary, he's idling for Imperial Age. He wants to go up to Imperial Age. Like I said, could be very dangerous. We've seen it once today. Straight Dog goes up to Imp, loses the game. And now, looking very sketchy for Leary. Wow. Can he survive? Let's see, let's see, because he needs to survive. Because those units, look at those units on the right side, how they are killing everything. And now he's gonna go raid more and more. He got some pikes, but he's not gonna be an old, in my opinion. The Imperial Age is happening. This doing the castle exactly in that spot, Memstradamus. But, <laughs> Mr. Hira, that beautiful, another beautiful castle here for for Winchester, but uh, um, I don't like that one. It's it's so bad because it will get trapped down and it doesn't kill anything now. So it's actually really bad. Castle. Yeah, the, pr the problem is that he's not expecting ever that Leo is going up. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, Leary Le 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 going up to Imp is gonna come to a surprise for Winchester unless he was looking at the score. Um, but that castle, in my opinion, doesn't accomplish a whole lot. Leary's defensive castle very strong though. On the other hand, and uh, I don't know. I think I like Leary's position. I think he's gonna get the Imperial Age without taking too much damage, and he can go for Halberdier and Trebuchets, which is exactly the counter he needs. Crazy. He's sending army on the right side because there is some pikes and archers. The problem here is, do, have you seen all this aggression? Um, how many villages has Don Vincente in the last 10 minutes? He's barely booming. 
Look at the police number from him and he's not getting raided anymore. It's like he invests everything on army and not doing any any economy at all. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what you have to do to go all, all in, right? So his vill count suffered a lot. He was taking a lot of damage. Uh, it looks like now he's using more vills, but it seemed like he added a little bit to get all this aggression, but I feel like he kind of had to. Um, he just, he's not finding that much damage, if you think about it, though. Leary stonewalled on the top. Stonewall, man. This is not the real Leary, man. Yeah, <laughs> he plays like that in <laughs> tournaments, though. Yeah, Him man. and Viper, they never wall in Raider games, or like rarely wall in Raider games, but in tournaments, they always wall and take the precaution. It's, it's exactly what you should do, man. Yeah. Oh, man, the, this third castle, I mean, he got, except those farming is in the middle, but he got Leary cast us in the perfect position. Now on the right yeah. side, he's gonna make it in front, in the middle, and then in that hill in the north. Just got three castles, perfect spot, but he need to wall or he's gonna go to the farmers. He's not walling there. Well, the castle, you know what I mean? He's gonna read yep. a lot and that army is so dangerous to stop. And the thing is, Leary's an Imperial Age, but what Imperial Age tech is he getting? He's only getting the trebuchet. That's all That's all he's getting from Imperial Age right now. He's not getting Halberdier, he can't afford it. He's not getting armor, he can't afford it. He's, his yep. army is still Castle Age, guys. Yeah, he has no resources at all. Yep. No resources at all, it's difficult. He's still ahead in the score, but, 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 well, he spikes an axe, but the crops are also there. Now, I don't think that's a good battle for Leary. The plus no. five, plus five knights will take everything, I believe. Yep. Cost with the back on the hill will just snipe the pikes as well. A lot of good damage output, and Vinchester, he's closing the gap in terms of score. Vinchester has more control of the map right now. Vinchester also has three relics and is looking for the last two. This is pretty insane. I think Vinchester might be in a decent position here. It's definitely anyone's game. Leary doesn't know what to go for. Yeah, well, let's see. It's true that he's reading some abilities, eh, but the problem is, Hira, he need to really push. Like, he's raiding some, but he can't push with rams or, or kill economy. The castles are just perfect, Hira. Yeah, the castles are definitely keeping Leary in the game for sure. He's got a castle at every important position. However, Vinchester can still raid a lot with the knights. And raiding is enough to stall the game out, which is exactly what he needs right now. He's also making a lot of Lactus, although Lactus may be less good for raiding. Um, I don't know, actually, they have the same Pierce numbers Knights, so and never mind, they're just as good. It's fine. Yeah, I still think that the problem here for Winchester is that he he has 81 villains. When I said when I told you that and he started, he was like 70, 75 villains. He has done six villains in, in the last 20 minutes. Yep. Yep. Crazy. He's going all in for sure. And, uh, and Leary is still raiding him a little bit with light cap, by the way. Leary is in the economy with some knights, so he's making some bills, but he's just losing them. The question is, the question is, can Leary stabilize enough to get Halberdier and, and a good master them? That's the unit he needs right now. Halberdier, he still have 20 pop, but he needs to match Vinchester's uh, army here. Well, the game is all really crazy. Look at the Lambrica. That wood line uh, close to the uh, north castle is need to switch. He did another TC at the back. There's a three o'clock. Yeah, I'm, and 22 villages more. It seems that he's getting there. Well, conscription, 47 farmers. But just look, 47 farmers, zero food in the bank. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's the power of the raids. That's the power of the raids. Both of them at the limit of resources as well now. And Vinchester's going up to Imperial Age. Dude, I think Vinchester, if he can hold out, might be in a better position. You talk, ma'am, how Lithuanians have the better Imperial Age. So yeah. if it gets there... But, but, but this is too low villages in my opinion. I mean, too too little economy. In this situation you should have like 100, 120. He's yeah. on in 78. With 78 villages, 30, 34 on farms, 5 on wood at the moment. It's nothing. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's really nothing. I, and I do think, I like... I, I do think again. I don't. I don't know if I necessarily agree with the Imperial Age now. In hindsight, it looked it looked promising. It looked sick, but the problem is by going Imperial Age, he gives up a lot of pressure. Notice he lost the forward castle. Now he's going to lose the next one because he doesn't have the military to defend against the traps. So, yeah. was it worth yeah, it? Yeah. No, no, no. no. It, it seems that now Leo is getting the game, but uh, he has to be careful because uh, Vincent has has proved that he has a really strong gameplay. He was Lee has been improvising. Well, in a couple of stages during the game, yep. in the early game, then he has to, to, to recover, then almost again with a plus five. But I, I think Winchester should have go much more boom and full completely castle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I agree with that. Pay a little bit more attention to the economy, go full castle age. Don't think about Imperial Age until you have very good control of the game. He never got that, man. He never got that. He went in between two strategies, full castle, but then he stopped and he went Imperial Age. It doesn't really work, so...
It's just, it's a classic mistake of not committing to your strategy. And now Halberdier from, from Neri, fully upgraded in terms of attack. Still missing some armor, but no big deal. Yeah, it's crazy too. It's three trade, which is going with the helps. He's gonna take that castle. Well, well, well. Another castle also forward. Yeah, well, the 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 cavaliers might be very strong, but halberdiers are helps. Yeah, yeah. Halberdier is very cheap, very good against pretty much all cavalry. Now we see the skirm transition from Lightus, uh from Vinchester, sorry, and uh, and cavalier also with it. So calf skirms will be the attempted composition, but halberdier beats skirmishers in low numbers. To be fair. The halberdiers are, in my opinion, really underrated units. If you put them face to face in a one v one with those, they just take it, man. They got good yep. HP, good attack, so cheap. They are so strong. Yeah, halberdier is definitely a really strong imperial age unit. One of the better trash units in imperial age. I think halberdier might be the best. Second hussar is really good as well, uh, and then skirmisher is probably the weakest trash unit you can make an imp. Um, but Vinchester is kind of forced to play with that because he wants to go skirm cap. Now, now, now his game. Now his yep. his game. Look at the population and man, yep. first game. Well, fantastic to watch, honestly. This game, yeah. full aggressive yeah. game, like we expected. Honestly, we were making jokes before before the series started, but I have to say, I was pretty impressed with Winchester's uh, gameplay. He was ahead. He killed a lot of villagers. He even you know did the right setups you know in in the defense. But Leary, he just used his mobility, used his rating, used his initiative. And managed to go for a 4 0 deficit in villagers to 4 to 27 in a matter of minutes. Yeah. Crazy stuff. Yeah. Well, uh, he needed to really play his best because at some point, uh, well, and he went 1 TC for a while, like push completely, but the decision making he did it was insane. It was moving on the left yeah. to the right, trying to snipe monks. Well, it was fantastic to watch this game, really. Absolutely. It's not easy to come back from a deficit that much in the early game, and Leary definitely had to play really well to get back from there, but he showed how to play against Lithuanians in a little bit. He showed <laughs> how to play against Lithuanians, snipe the monastery, put the pressure, use your eco bonus, and in the end, 132 bill high for Leary. Yep, look at that. Yeah, pretty crazy, man. You can see there, 132, 86, you saw the economy. Also, he got from uh, the relics. Vincent even got the, the, the three biggest battle, according to the timeline, but the economy Leary after the first raid in... Yeah, he catch up that Villar count and Leary took the lead in this series one zero. Exciting series that we are going to watch. Game number two incoming. Yeah, uh, give me one second, man. I'm gonna use. There you go. We are starting now, guys. Hopefully, this is going to be. Uh, I don't know. Give me, give me a moment. Yeah, now we are getting there. I have we're to restart there. every time. Yeah. Did you restart too? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Just cast it on me. I'll join soon. Okay, I'm going. Binchester as a purple. Binchester as a purple. Leary Malians versus Japanese. Japanese with like Britons, Mr. Hira, with a really bad uh, performing the tournament. And uh, he's picking the Japanese versus Malians. What is your favorite civilization in this matchup? Uh, wait, sorry, who's who? Larry from Malians versus Japanese? I think it's ja actually a very close one. Um... Yeah, it's actually very close. Both have really good eco. Both have bloodlines for all in feudal or for castle knights. So the only difference, in my opinion, is the fact that I think Malians get a bit better eco in castle age, but Winchester with Japanese get bracer arbs in in imperial age. So it's a little bit tricky, in my opinion. I I think Japanese might be better overall, honestly. At least in late game. Yeah, that uh, that's for sure. Well, it's true that the Malians got those those crazy champions with crazy armor against specifically the, the, the range units but i don't know i, I would like it more the, this one for like you say the japanese well yep. malians well malians didn't got any any buff actually and i remember with kino desert one you were not around in the in that one but uh, i i remember that viper said that for him was his favorite civilization yeah, they have got a lot of nerfs since then a lot changed man you put lithuanian yeah yeah, yeah 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 i know oh, i have seen I have a single. Overlay, oh, bad streamer, GG, noobcaster. Say, let's insult mem chat. Let's just insult them all together. Perfect stuff. Okay. Sorry, I have to do it. I have to every time. Um, I'm fast Thanks forwarding God. now in the game. Thanks, God, I don't have the webcam. <laughs> if you will see the face that I'm putting to you, man. <laughs> all right. The main Angry rage is, is real, man. Yeah, Angry absolutely. Angry best man. Okay. Now, uh, seriously, yes. seriously, yeah. Akira, now that nothing is happening, you cannot imagine how many things i have to control at the same time that i'm casting right now with the overlays you yeah, can yeah. really not imagine <laughs> i got like 30 30 buttons to click 
I'm not joking, man. <laughs> Mem Seriously. is a crazy APM caster, man. Not only crazy caster, but also APM is high. Crazy, uh, okay, man. let's focus the game, though. Enough, yes, enough chatting go. here. Um, fast forwarding as we get in there. And uh, yeah, so I, I do think that Malians tend to have really good economy and one of the best cast lage in the entire game. They have really fast working university, all the blacks with tech, bloodlines, and thumb rings. So it'd be pretty interesting to see how uh, Vincenzo can defend against that with the Japanese. Both early games are very strong though. Yeah, now that you say about the university, the Viper, I have seen him using that many, many times. Just take yeah. notes, Mr. Kira, because with Malians, Always. Early, early castleage, you make a university right away. And if you get a good battle in the early game, it can be deadly because it's super fast. Yeah, yeah, for sure, exactly. And we've seen how much this can snowball, like this game uh, on this map, that if you start taking bad trades, bad fights, you could actually end up, you know, losing the game very fast. Um, by the way, the, the civs are still up on the screen. Okay, I, I have removal. I have removal already. <laughs> okay, oh, perfect. Man. I'm like the, the overlay coach. I need to stop backseat focus, back focus, coaching. Focus in the yeah. casting, Kira. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Fast focus in the cast. <laughs> okay, okay. En enough backseat overlaying. Um, yeah, let's see, let's see how the game develops. Both these civs are very close, though, in strength. Um, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, it depends how the game is going. I think Japanese is better for really late game, but during, during castle age, I prefer Malians as well. The gold yeah. mining are pretty solid. The building is cheaper uh, in terms of wood. I mean, uh, the only the only advantage for uh, for the Japanese, yeah, the lumber camp and the mining camps, or costing uh, fifty wood. Well, it's yep. okay, but there's a point that that's it. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Very good point, actually. It's really good for the early game, but at a certain point, that stops to give you that much, um, you know, that that much uh, bonus. And is is Liri is interested going forward? With only five villagers. Wow. Wow. Exactly. Wow is the is the right call here. Vinchester, the crazy Vinchester, is going. Yeah, man. He's going forward. Yes. The Russian player is going aggressive now with five villagers. There you go, man. Five villagers. The, and... the question is, did he prepare this or did he adapt into this? But this looks pretty good for Vinchester, especially because Liri has forward gold. Wow. Good point, man. Good point. It's true that the good thing is that the Lee is spotted instantly, but Lee, good thing as well, he's faster in Castle Age and now doing the RT range. But the problem is, he got no army. He's going his usual arches, right away arches. But now it's a problem because that goal most likely will be, will be denied very soon. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this is actually a really nice build from Lee going 19 pop archers uh, versus the men at arms to counter it. And. Uh, that's actually pretty good. We may or may not have prepared that, um, but we'll see how it, well it pays off here. As uh, as Vinchester wants to drop his tower now on the front to take the gold away, Liri might be in some problems though. As the gold is, uh, he's forced to run away. Forced to run okay. away. Okay. Well, uh, let's see now. He's coming with the tower, tower up, RT range, men at arms incoming. Now he has the Lambert uh, save, but uh, the goal is where, where to take the gold, Liri now. Well, he has one in the south, far, but super far from from everything. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening here, actually. And Liri might lose the archer, goes back in time. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, Vinchester goes for range. I've played against Vinchester a couple times when he's done this to me. He, he likes to do his forward. He does it a lot on Arena, but this time on Arabia. So he's no stranger to the strategy. Men are arms into a few archers and skirmishers. But Liri, he's sharp on defense so far. Okay, well, two, three villages on goal, four villages on goal now on the other side. A really important move is, is Vinchester. Vinchester explored that goal? No, man. Look at the exploration for Vinchester and how unfortunate the black Ooh. area where the goal is from Leary now on the left. Yep, yep. That's, That's crucial huge. in this situation, right? That is, yeah, for sure. When you're going forward, it's important to have a plan. And one plan is to deny the golds as he's denied the first one. But if you don't deny all the golds, then you're not doing too much, right? So that's the thing. Yeah. That he has Blasmith already, Leary? No, no Blasmith. Leary, no. Okay. no. No, neither player has Blasmith yet. So these these archers aren't as strong as they could be. The skirmishers on the front line here. You have to micro perfectly here if you're both players. They have to micro perfectly. Skirmish from Leary attacking the archer. Archers attacking the men at arms. And notice Leary didn't make a defensive tower. So he can still respond with the tower if he wants to. He, do you notice that he tried to, to avoid using the stone as much as possible? Yes. Always. Yes. 
Yep, always doing that. He only towers if he needs to, and that's the sign of a good and confident player because a lot of people would react right away with a tower because you know they, they don't want to you know lose uh, you know or fall behind. But Leary, he knows how much he can get away with. with. That being said, that one villager went the wrong way and he's gonna die. <laughs> but I don't think so. He click there because sometimes they path in with those bullies, you know, and that villager is going to go. No, he's not gonna lose it. Wait, that's a ninja actually. What the hell? Oh, teleport a little bit. Uh oh, -uh. is he uh, gonna uh, save uh, uh. it? No. no. But gonna... Almost, huh? Almost save it. Yeah. Not bad. Closer than I thought it would be at least. And now. Uh, Leary also making use of some deer, we'll bring those guys in, and he just moves simply the lumber camp now to the back. Not that much damage from Vinchester is being done though, to be fair. If you notice, I mean, how the hell he get this macro, Leary? Because he has lost Villier, and he's still ahead in, in Villiers. I mean, it's the same Villiers, but also small time, well, now not because he was housed, but it's still the same Villiers, so... Idle time. Look at the economy for Winchester at home. Oh my Hira, god. Here are that economy. Three villages idle on goal. How many farmers he got? I, I can tell you fast. Zero. <laughs> what Bro, the he hell? Has four idols at the gold and one at the wood. He has five idols at home. He hasn't looked back in about a minute and a half. And on top of that, still getting out microed by Leary. So, what exactly, Winchester, are you doing? Four yeah. idols. Yeah, Professional yeah, yeah. It's... age vampires, by the way. No, but but the thing is, the multitasking is one of the the, the, the hardest task in the game, if not the if not the the hardest one. And this is how here Leary oh. is just dominating here completely. And now, Man, how do you defend? This is Between not multitasking. Tower? This is just tasking, bro. Just make the villagers <laughs> task. Come resources. on, come on, oh, some of this hero, just, just <laughs> task, just task, did this hero, man, is, <laughs> oh my god, okay. Five villages, man, I, I cannot not roast that, anyway, Don't... we'll take a look here. Yeah, yeah. But he's he's not supporting his tempo teammate, you know, D did you see how he has changed his, the, the, the casting? Because now it's a real teammate, you know what I mean? So he's, oh, oh, he's there, man. <laughs> No, no, but serious, no, no. seriously, you got a point, boy. like, like, it's yeah, too yeah. much, too much mess in the economy at home, right? Yeah, for sure, absolutely, and, and you know, it, it's obviously easy to watch, just, you know, things happening everywhere, but Leary so far, way stronger with the multitasking, as we said, and Leary has some scouts at home, he's cleaning up the rush from Winchester now very easily, I think. Oh my Could god, be. he even did the scout, did this table already, while Winchester has four... Billy is on foot. Look at Billy's distribution. Four on foot, four on wood. What's going on? Wow. Oh man, it's just been so sloppy from Winchester. Honestly, he's got a lot of idols still at home. It's, it's just been sloppy. It's 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 hard not to comment on this. No, no, it's serious. But you know what? Leary's playing amazing. Yeah, he's playing perfect right now. I mean, look at the scouts yeah. with forging. The scout got already plus one attack. So imagine how you pick up those villages like instantly. It's GG, man. It's total domination in this game, in the second game. Leary defended at home without a tower and also killed Winchester who had towers at home. A lot of people ask me, Hera, how do you defend tower rush? This is textbook defense of the tower rush. Absolutely clinical play here from Leary. He's cleaning up the towers at home, he killed the Winchester's villagers, and he's also putting the pressure all at once. And his stone is still without being used. He didn't use the stone. It's incredible, seriously. Yeah, yeah. It's... he still has a tower available. And... GG, man. Wow. GG, man. Wow. wow. It's it, 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 it. impressive gameplay in this one. Seriously. I mean, yeah. domination by, by, by Leary after the first game that was much, much closer. Damn, what happened with the favorites in the tournament? Looking, looking sharp, Mr. Hira. This is scary. Because remember that he's teammate, but now we have to be honest as well. He's teammate, Man, but not in this you. tournament. I blame you for how well the pro, the pro players are playing right now. You know why? 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 You why? can't host a 50k tournament and expect people not to bring their best foot forward. Leary playing sharp, MBL playing sharp, Da playing sharp, and even Nikov. Nikov playing sharp. Everyone's prepared for this. It's a 50k tournament. Okay, yeah. 50k Raven tournament. It's not sorry, about sorry. preparation in terms of strategy. Yeah, you should be. My, my bad. My it's bad. not preparation sorry. for strategy. <laughs> you have to be sharp, and we're seeing the sharp. So it's Mem's fault, guys. I'm telling you. Well, <laughs> I, I look at Leary. Unit kills double, double the units killed. Thirty largest army. But what I'm impressed is how calm he just stopped the forward. Yeah. No, no stone use. No panic. Just move to other gold. Move to other woods. Very simple.
And he made it look easy, but we all know it's not easy, right? Yeah, crazy stuff, guys. 2-0. The kid, one of the kid, took the game pretty easily. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Game number three. And now we have what civilizations? Oh, I like it, man. It reminds me that the Khmer slaps. Now Khmer Kelts, Mr. Hira. Khmer Kelts. And I actually played this matchup against Hado in the Arabia Invitational Tournament not too long ago. So I'm pretty familiar with how the matchup goes. And let me tell you, it's pretty easy to win with Khmer if you don't die early game. It's pretty easy to win. Because Khmer economy is better than Celts economy. Khmer Castle's units are better with the bloodlines. So Celts have to do something in the early game with their faster moving infantry if they want to get, you know, a, a pretty good advantage. Late game, different story. Celts can win with Halb Siege pretty comfortably. But the Castle Age is really the biggest weakness for Celts. And that's how I see this matchup playing out. Liri winning in Castle Age. Yeah, the mobility. I mean, we saw the Celts also with like an amazing gameplay versus doubt and you saw that mobility yep. with franks it could be similar similar here and uh man who will who will say to us uh, here at that uh, two months ago or i don't know when it was that the cavalry civilizations are favorite now or if not favorite people is using it more and more Strong. in the tournament right yeah yeah definitely and and that's how it's supposed to be right there's pro and con to every civ Archer civs have really good units, really good economy, but cavalry civs have the mobility. And I think finally, with the open map, we're starting to see how the cavalry is shining. We also start to see that the pathing is way better, so uh, the fight to able to take is uh, is uh, is solid. So I think the game is in the best position ever, uh, and that's why we're seeing the cavalry uh, start to shine. The balance is there. Beautiful, man. Beautiful, and we can we can keep with uh, with this balance for a while because when something is good, why to change, right? I mean, maybe some adjustment, but uh, but but that's it. Anyway, now yep. with green here in the south as Khmer, three villages on wood. We have four villages on wood for Winchester in the north. Uh, well, it looks like approach for scout one and militias the other. Yeah, and that's pretty much expected, right? You know, um, Celts. If they're not going to open infantry, why pick Celts, you know what I mean? Yeah. However, man, that does make them a little bit predictable, right? Because you expect them so much to go for, for, for infantry, and there you can prepare the walls. And what is he doing? Already preparing the walls on the woodline. Okay. Well, uh, this is what I like with civilization like Khmer, Kumans, because Khmer, yeah, you expect the scout, but they can also go arches. Imagine here, Leary that loves to go arches, and without a barrack, you don't need a barrack because the Celts is going to come with militias. You can go open in archery range. What do you think? Yeah, so remember last game when he went 19 pop archers? We might see the exact same thing now from Khmer. And uh, and you even need no barracks. So you get 175 wood saving on that strategy. And you can go straight straight into the archers to counter the infantry. So it's a, yeah. it's a possibility, man. I'm not saying he's going to go for it, but it's definitely a possibility. Yeah, definitely no, no. good to point it what out. What I mean is that it, those are civilizations that make you think, or make the opponent think, oh, okay, wh yeah. wh what do what, what is going to do? But with Kels, you can't expect that it's going to be the malicious. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Khmer a little bit more tricky than uh, than Kels for sure. Um, but who knows? Maybe maybe Winchester will surprise us and maybe go scouts. I did talk about going scouts is actually good versus Khmer because you don't expect them to have the militia. So, you know, we'll see how that plays out. You never know. Mm -hmm. Mind games, love the mind games. Yeah, I, I really like it. Yeah. Like, I really like it to see. Anyway, um, about to go up. He's gonna go up 19 population. It seems. I don't know what he was trying to to achieve with the scout forward that that long. Uh, Leary. Now he's trying to to out micro his opponent. His opponent, but he's already behind by a little bit. Five HP, doing the loom and going up. 19 population. Yeah, 19 pop. It looks like it's archers for me. I think this will be 19 pop archers, and I think Winchester, we haven't seen a barracks yet. We haven't seen a barracks. What is he going to go for? We should see a barracks with the next villager, unless he wants to go for some scouts, maybe. Look at the lumber camp he's doing. Why he's doing the lumber camp yeah. in that position? Why not the backwood line, eh? Oh, oh he didn't scout the, the backwood oh, line. Or close to the berries also. Oh, true, true. He because had options. It, That's a weird... Yeah, I mean, yeah. he just took the worst position, in my opinion. What the yeah, hell? I, I don't, I don't really agree with that lumber camp either. I have to say. And uh, by the way, I think he's gonna go for some scouts now. What's his plan? This is so confusing. He's going into gold now, but he doesn't have a barrack. Maybe he'll go for straight archers. Well, Very confusing good. so far. Opening from Winchester, we're not sure. Yeah, but look at Lear, man. He's going archers, man. 
He's going archers. Yep. He's going with the goal on the right side. Okay, two lumber camps Peaky already, gold. one if wall. He picked the secondary yep, and the thing goal. Is, go, go, go. I say once again, if if the game gets even to Castledge, Khmer will start to dominate there. They also have the plus one range scorpions, which is really good against crossbow. So honestly, if both players open archers, I think Liri will just be more than happy with that trade. More than happy. And now we're seeing Liri wall in absolutely everything, preparing for the men at arms. He doesn't want to take any risks, but Winchester simply will go straight for the range units, skirms and archers. Is that good? Mm, it's interesting. Um, like he, it's interesting for sure because if he went men at arms, Liri's already walled, right? So it'd be a waste. So I think it's maybe pretty good for Winchester, yeah. But at the okay. same time, he's also giving up one of his biggest bonuses for his sip. You know, the infantry moving faster. Exactly. And now, uh, I believe that uh, Leo will be a little bit ahead. He has the production faster. He has the archery range already done. Okay. Yep. And now, uh, ooh, but two ranges from the Kelt player here. So we're seeing one range from Leary, but now two ranges from Kelts. Maybe maybe Kelts can outmass here. They have the better eco in the early game with the faster wood gathering. Yeah. Not too many farms now from, from Leary. Yeah, but uh, what do you prefer now? Because... I, I feel, do you think that Liu should go now Blacksmith directly or second archery range? Blacksmith for sure. You go okay. one, two archers, you go pressure with that, and then you go Blacksmith, skirmish or defense with Fletching. Is the way to go, for sure. Second range is not necessary for now. And he's doing the Blacksmith. There you go, Mr. Hira. Yeah. All right, and now... I know oh, stuff, man. Yeah. Hey, you are okay, co-caster. <laughs> yeah, not bad, not bad. Not bad at all, not bad at all. But look at this. He's trying <laughs> try to pick the... I mean, the scout is much more important than what people can think. Because when there is all these skirmishes, you can pick the, the skirmishes easily. Mm -hmm. Yep, and now we're seeing both scouts go down. And uh, you know what, Liri? He... Oh, Vintress is blocking with the villager trying to. Uh, Liri got some idle time from that. So I think he's pretty happy with it. But now he has to defend because now we're seeing two rangers from Vinchester who also has the blacksmith with the Celt eco. Super strong stuff. Yeah, I, I really like that Vinchester got already the fletching. Do you think it's worth it to make some idle time if you don't, if you can't afford the fletching? Like, uh, yeah. I mean, now he that the fletching, but if you don't have the resources, yeah. do, 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 do you just wait to make a believe because fletching is so important in early game in this situation, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, I would probably sacrifice one or two bills, like Leary's doing, to get the fletching, uh, because he wants to put the pressure. Uh, and actually, Vincius is sneaking with four archers. Oh, I love this move. Very smart. Oof. Sneaking with the archers, defending with the skirmishers, that's exactly how you should do it. And he might actually get one or two villagers because of the sneak. I love this. I love this. Yeah, he's taking the goal. The village on goal. He do doesn't have a... Does he have the house there? So the village is down. Now he needs to move the, the berries. Man, the, those archers can be deadly for Winchester. For yep. Leary, sorry. Yeah. And imagine just, just four archers. And imagine what the damage they can do. Leary, he has to run his wood. Why is there not a house near your wood line to garrison? Yeah. Why it's do you not use that bonus? Yeah. It's one of the, the biggest bonus here. He's trying to wall, but he can't. He's going to lose two villages. Oh. Not looking good. Not looking good for Leary now. And Winchester coming back from the hell. Yeah, we should have we should have took Winchester to tempo. I think that was a big mistake taking Leary, not with these plays. <laughs> okay, let's see those uh, skirmishes. Three skirmishes, such a troll this Kira. Uh oh, well he did this table already. So Ooh, man, but I don't understand. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna take more villages. There you go, man. He's he's killing many villages already. He's three villages behind. He's remind me a little bit the first game, but now he's gonna try to use. He's gonna kill all the archers now. But he did the job, yeah, so man. Yes, this is interesting now. Yeah, I think Vincent is definitely in a better position, but it's not the worst thing ever for Leary because he's cleaning up some army at, at the cost of villagers. So maybe now, if Leary can get some tempo, no pun intended, with some uh, with some you know scouts and skirmishers, and can have a really strong feudal age for the rest of the game, he might be okay. He might be okay. Yeah, and the scouts are coming. He's gonna clean that army, and and the problem I insist, the Khmer economy when you when you have good amount of farms. It's insane, Mr. Mr. Hira, really. Yeah, exactly. And they start to take over very hard. Like, Kimmer Farms, I don't care what the numbers say, they're so strong. They're like, they feel better than Slab Farms. They feel insane. So, um, for that reason, I feel like Liri is in a better position uh, military wise. However, like I said, he did take a lot of eco damage. So, we'll see 
Uh, if that is maybe too much damage for him to actually get the better uh, military out. Okay, well, let's see. He's five, five is skirmishes. Still trying to, to out micro. He has the plus one, plus one, both players. No, only Winchester in the uh, in the range units has to be careful he's trying to to put the pressure those scouts are a little bit weak so many archers he need to micro properly uh oh those he's gonna lose more villages man here maybe not he's yeah. trying to move and oh god that was good a micro, beautiful micro. micro by the kid man he did okay again and uh, move it and didn't not lose bad. a single village right but vince is also doing a yeah. good job yeah, exactly. That's one thing I want to point out as well. Like, Leary should have had those houses down earlier because he's still taking a lot of out of time, still losing a lot of HP on those villagers, which could come back to haunt him later. And you know what? Vincius is taking better fights. Leary's at the very limit with resources. I think I think Vincius is in a very good position here. Yeah, the resources are looking good. Also, he's doing the wheelbarrow. He's still not mining any gold now, Leary. Zero gold. He's moving the village. He's gonna make what? Another RT range, skill bar and armor. But this is something that you can afford with, with Kemmer. Trying to go like a little bit all in in feudal age for a while, then you recover, and still the economy is gonna be okay for, for Kemmer, man. Yeah. The thing is, Winchester, by that time, man, by the time that happens, Winchester would be very close to Castledge. As I say that as Leary goes for a counterattack right away. So it's still tricky. It's still tricky. Uh, even if Leary gets back to position, he still will be very far behind in development. But now we're seeing the three scouts go forward. Oh. What kind of damage can he find? Ooh, quick walls. Three quick walls. Man. Nice. nice. Nice quick walls by Winchester. Yeah. Trying to be on point there, but now it's still the gold miners. Why can he the world the gold miners? I don't know. Now he's there. He's plus one. He might pick a villier. Maybe not. These chemists are there, so he's not really killing anything. I like oh, another trap. Okay. Oh. He's dropping perfectly fine. Winchester oh, doing a really man. good job here. Good job, man. Oh man, well played. Guys, get the well played in the chat because it's not every day you trap Leary. And uh, that was pretty cute, that was pretty cute. Takes away all the scout HP pretty much, even kills one. Not bad, uh, not bad, I like that one. Yeah, and the most important, he didn't lose anything at home. Like anything. Yeah. He got Will Barrow. Remind to the viewers that Will Barrow here with Kimmer is not really in it. At least not that early. Yeah. It yeah, exactly. The farms work really, really nice even without the wheelbarrow. It doesn't accomplish that much for it. So, um, you know, you're able to delay it for more uh, army early on for sure. And then villages instead. Oh, he's not going to take so, yeah, anything someone's asking, those scouts. Why does Deary have more bills? Because Vincester did wheelbarrow, which is uh, three villages worth of, uh, of TC time. And the Russian, it is on the way to Castle Age, while Leary don't even have gold to go up. He has yep. two villages on gold only. Well, three. He has no gold. The food is insane because you can see how the food is it's, it's growing like <laughs> crazy. Just look at the food for him. But still, I don't see that he has a market. He's building the market to, to kind of sell. So, well, he has a couple of minutes, Winchester, to, to really make the damage there. Leary's making a, a, a decision-making mistake. He wants to try to rush the castleage. In my opinion, I think this is a big mistake. Instead, what he should do is go all in feudal scouts. You go all in feudal scouts, you will be behind the castle, we know that, but you will have a strong army to kill the skirms that, that Vinchester is making. Vinchester is just going to make a few crossbows and a lot of skirms, and scouts can dominate. Also, with the scouts, you can raid, get map control. I think Leary trying to go castle age is a mistake. He should stay in feudal age. Okay, but the problem is uh, how to raid. I mean, he got one tower in the wood line. He's wall uh, on the other side as well. The goal is pretty defended. But now he's still raiding and taking village. Oh my god, one village down. He's still doing the damage with, with few army and now he's yep. up to castle as well. What the hell? It's crazy how much he does with so little, eh, man? Like, he has yeah. less army, but he's still attacking somehow. Crazy. Oh, there's a pause by Leary. Ooh. Okay. Leary, tactical pause. Oh, okay. Look at the, I but look what he... Oh, I didn't even notice that he has the tempo tag. Or, my God, I, I didn't even notice that he has the tempo already, Leary. Ah. Man, wake up. That was the whole point of the announcement. I know, oh man, but, but but I'm focusing in all the action. Ah, come on, man. <laughs> oh, I my know, man. God. Man. I didn't even notice, man. Well, man, I'm paying attention to all the other stuff, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. You see how I'm terrible with the sellout, Mr. Hira? I'm terrible, yeah, I man. I, I need to learn, man. I told them the day before. By the way, we're gonna make Leary Temple <laughs> the day of the games. I literally yeah, yeah. told them. Well, I'm sorry, man. I'm, it I'm sorry. It I'm happened. sorry. Hopefully now Tempo is not gonna get it back. The 50 subs uh, gift. <laughs> yeah, said, they they man, want their money back. We cancel. <laughs> we cancel. Uh, refund. Refund. 
just okay. bad, man. Okay, that, that's a pause. But the yeah. game is in a really interesting situation right now. The game keep going. Oh. And the game is over. Might be a drop, maybe. Let me check. GG, 3-0, well played, Leary. Easiest game of his life. Vinchester had no chance, just resigns even with the score lead and the better position. Easiest game ever, and that's it for the series. Okay, sorry. <laughs> let's go restore. Drop, <laughs> Vinchester, drop it. Let's go restore. Okay, let's go, yep. guys. Let's go. Sadly, we have to restart, but what we can do is uh, the third game, Leary, Vinchester. Now we are going to talk about other things. Really important here. Yeah. Uh, psychologically, psychologically uh, they know a lot about the game. How this can affect to a player that was feeling like in a good position, like in this case, Winchester. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, and also, on top of that, they also played the matchup just now and they both already showed a strategy, right? So, yeah. first of all, Winchester has to clear his mind from the last game, focus brand new game here. And um, and uh, and he has to just play it as if you know, as if it's the first time. The thing is, they both already showed a strategy. So, will they do the same thing again, or will they switch up the strategy as a mind game? That's what's uh, happening right now, for sure. Yeah, because to be honest, I mean, there is not admin decision possible here. It's true yeah. that Vincenter was ahead, but Lee wasn't complete. I mean, it was a little bit ahead, and we saw how ahead he was in the first game, and Leary came back. So there were not all the exactly. possibility, not all the possibility that just going for the restart. <laughs> <laughs> Vinchester's mad, bro. He went to steal two sheep, actually. He's sending his scout forward. I think I might be a little bit ahead of you here. But uh, <laughs> he's sending yeah. his scout forward, man. He's, he he wants to get an, an advantage now from the start. Yeah, yeah, okay, I see. Okay. I see I now. See I, you, you are a little bit ahead because I forgot to fast forward, but yeah. I, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. No problem. He's, he's trying to lame. So now, mind games. Do you make the same strategy or do you change completely your, your strategy? It's hard to say, right? I, I would personally play it like a brand new game. You have different map, you have, uh, yes, the same sieves, but different map, different situation. I would pretend it's a brand new game and we didn't play the first one. I would play based uh, a strategy based on my map. That's kind of how I think about it. Yeah, um, depend, depend but how we'll you see explore. with the, the players. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Depending how you explore, you go, you go for them and let's see the strategy. It seems that he's going for the mill, not going for early barrack. I wouldn't be surprised yep. to see the same strategy and then. He might mix it up and go for men at arms this time, but I think Leary okay. might still prepare the same thing for men at arms. We'll see. But it uh, looks like Leary, you know, does want to, uh, you know, d does want to open the range as, as well, I think, because I do see only three on wood. So either stable or range. No no barracks, obviously. Right. The map, the map, uh, we didn't talk about the map. The map for Leary looks similar to the previous one in, in, in the sense that the main goal is forward and the other secondary goals are yeah. on a side, but man super far this time look how far it is behind the the, the woodland in the in the south the other one is super exposed as well so i don't think he will go there but, but let's see man I'm, I'm looking really forward to see what they will do very interesting now oh but the barrel is now faster for which is like he's changing and he's gonna go malicious yeah so he, he does want to go for a little bit of malicious here uh man i have some bad news i need to take like five or six minute break one sec but i'll be back and hopefully you can cast without me for a little bit all right okay sorry about that okay well, uh, we keep going then. It's a pity because Hira is amazing co castle that you can see. But I'm going to try to make my best, guys, with two, two Lambrickers up the back. This is Pinchester map. Okay. And, uh, well, I don't know if this is going to be a good strategy here with the two militias. While Leary, it's uh, going to be up so quick. He's walling here. Okay. Now we are completely live, and he's not mining gold. He's now going for the stable. Man, both change completely the strategy. Now Leary, the kid, like I like to call him, stable. Man, he's 18 years old, like you can you could see in there, and he has been a while, has been around forever. Man, has played in all the King of the Desert. He basically did the grand final from King of the Desert one with 15 years old, man. That's crazy. 15 years old. Incredible. Anyway, now we can focus and see. He got the scout. Obviously, Winchester, that is Feudal Age as well. RT range is going for the men at arms. And doing the spear first. Now he's doing the men at arm. Has to be careful. But now Leary is learning from some mistakes, right? And got houses. In all the resources except the berries, he is gonna be wall. That delay is not going the right way. There you go. 
And the scouts going around. He has to be careful. But he's well protected. He needs a spear at home. The two scouts are going to do the job now. No, no, no. He got four villages. And here with those hills might be in some problems. All right. Well, at home. Uh, the scout, three men at arms. That village is in danger. That's open. That's open! I was I was afraid that that was open. And it is open. And now one villager should be down. Mistake by Lear, man. Mistake by Lear. And now another villager. Well, he has the house. He has the house. He can garrison the village there, you see. But small mistake here. And now with the scout. No, no, no. Need to micro properly. Has to be careful. Three scouts going around. I don't like that approach. Definitely not. He took a lot of damage in two scouts. So definitely... Winchester taking the lead. Now he's doing the RT range. And we'll save it. Yeah, but he's getting a lot of idle time. Winchester, 8 army. Leary, 3 military. He got 2 villages now here. And all, only those 2 villages save. Still taking the uh, the deers, the hunt. He's on palisade. And he's doing the palisade now. Alright. But guys, how do you explain this? He's still ahead in villages. He has lost. He has lost Finchester, also a villager? I don't know. I don't know if now the overlay is working because today suddenly we are getting some problems. Uh oh. No, no, no. Multitasking Leary is gonna, is gonna garrison that village. He did. All right. Well, he's still fine, but like you can see, problems with the numbers. In military numbers, Finchester is ahead. Uh oh. Don't like that one. The spear is doing a massive damage in those scouts. I don't know if that was a good trade. Very low HP now, those scouts. And why he's taking that that house? I don't understand why he's taking that house. It's not important. There's nothing at all. Okay, he's walling. Paying attention. Got the scouts. He tried to lane, but he couldn't. Three scouts, few skirmishes. He's gonna go. No, no, no. You need to go back. He has to be back. And those men at arms will tell me. Oh, but he took the spears. Exactly, the spears. Now we'll try to micro. But those scouts are low HP. Yeah, but they still have the skirmishes. He's fine. But the tr No, no, no. He's not that fine. Those three men at arms are full HP. Damn it. Now he's trying to make the damage. He has to be careful with the. With those villages. Try to add micro. But I, I really believe that those men at arms did a good damage here. Yeah, the trade is it is okay because he forced Lee to make a lot of a lot of units and that's why his economy is looking better now. At least the the resources in the bank. Now in the north he's sending a spear, few arches and going with the with the scouts. And Lee gonna mine goal. I think he should make a tower there. Still, 33 villages for both and similar army. But in since Winchester, clean economy with the wheelbarrow already going. Okay. Those two farmers need to be... Come on. Well, some idols that shouldn't happen and now he's gonna pick a villager. No, 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 maybe not. Okay, he take it and... He got it. One villager down. Well, in the, in the meanwhile, he's trying to attack. But the military numbers... Uh-oh. Oh, another villager down for Leary. Ay, ay, ay. But it's still Leary three villages ahead. Okay, because of the wheelbarrow. Yeah, man, but look at Khmer, guys. Khmer economy is insane. Look at the food. Look at the food. 500 food is incredible. It's just really incredible. He just need to mine some gold, make the tower, and he's up. Well, I mean, he's gonna be up too, uh, the Kells. But then we are starting that, in that area where Hero was commanding before the mobility. Khmer is gonna shine. And it's gonna be very difficult to hold because you need to really... Man, look at that economy. It's just insane. Seriously insane. Yeah, with horse collar, double attacks, doing some palisade. Yeah, Hira has to. He's AFK. He will come back. I don't know what happened to him. Something personal, probably. I'm here. Was I muted? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, no, I'm okay. kidding. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. I know that you. <laughs> all right, all right. Good you were not here, but uh, now the position. Well, Castle 21 minutes, but Hira, the sorry, Leary. The same, 13 seconds only, with four villages more. Of course, no will borrow what we said in the previous uh, in the previous game that is not really needed. And the problem is happened here. I mean, do you think a stable with Kels is now a good approach against stable with Khmer? Because Vincent is going for a stable. 
Yeah, uh, it's definitely not going to be the same amount of power as Khmer because Khmer has the has the bloodline, so uh, it doesn't feel like the best option. But maybe he just wants one stable for a little bit of mobility. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. The problem is that if, if you stay like infantry and siege, you can't go forward against Khmer, in my opinion. Like the mobility is gonna break you up, and if he's doing a siege workshop at home, he's, he's gonna be also in a good position. But again, we see how with not so many, just one scout and skirmishes, he's, he's just distor disturbing here, Leary. Uh, sorry, Winchester. Yeah, look at this. Uh, I think I'm behind a little bit in the game. Let me try and catch up here. Yeah, a little Probably. bit behind, so I'm not catching up. I am up. in 20 minutes and 20 <laughs> seconds. Okay. Yeah. Skill bard in armor. Now, Winchester without any army. But he's gonna be a little bit faster in castle. Those scouts will take the skirmishes now. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And I'm now caught up to, to max speed or to the live game. And uh, by the looks of things, Winchester is gonna go for a, a kind of an all in because he has two mining camp on the gold. I think he will try to go knights into some sort of monks and maybe some pikes forward, honestly. I think he will try to go all in here. Okay. Let's see if he's gonna I walk. guess, yeah. Because he, he sees the forward gold from Leary, and Leary's also kind of doing the same thing, also now going double mining camp with two stables. They will go a lot of knights and monks. Um, let's see if I'm correct, if, if Winchester will go all in. Uh, it doesn't look like it, though. He looks like he wants to drop a TC, so I'm actually wrong with that. Sorry about that. Wrong information here. Well, it's just a guess. We, we, we never know what what is yeah. going to happen. But he's playing safer. I, I think it's, it's pretty tricky, but it's true that he has a monastery there. Well, with the Kells, anything can happen, because with that... Uh, Good bonus. Uh oh. He has to be careful. He's there with a the knight. Oh, try to wall. Oh, well, he, he just sacrificed one Valir. Okay. He didn't lose the oh. Valir, actually. He didn't lose hell? it. Yeah, that's weird. By the way, have, have you seen Vintress's monastery? It's in the middle of nowhere, but he has some forward here with the monastery. Because, yeah, because probably he'd really want to go forward then. There you go. He's going forward. Yeah. See, chop. Yeah. So the question is why make a second TC if this is your plan? Why? If you're gonna go one TC, why not just go one TC push? Why do two TC at home? It feels like a little bit between two strategies for me, but we'll see what he can come up with. Yeah, and I really loved this husbandry upgrade so early because now yeah. to 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 pick up the knights, also to tr no, don't go there, don't spoil yourself, spot <laughs> yourself, okay? Well, he take the relic. He's doing a ram, yeah, but the ram makes no sense to me. I mean. Vincent has no army to make a ram push. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what is this push happening? <laughs> yeah, man, a ram with with villiers? Because I don't I don't understand that. Yeah, it's so weird. He it's like he's doing a push, but he has no army to match it. Now husbandry, like you said, man, gonna l allow Leary to chase away the other knights. And now Vincent's trying to do pikeman transition. So again, kind of kind of expected with Kels to go for the pikeman transition, but it didn't seem to lose a lot of momentum here. Yeah, crazy stuff. Now going around, he, he got two tone centers, but with two TCs, he's still four villages behind. Well, it's true that he got the will barrel, but still, uh, economy with Khmer, if you are one TC and you are still five villages ahead now, uh, it's gonna be more than fine. This is plus one, plus yep. one, nice, taking all the spears and going to the wood line now. Yeah, and this is exactly what, what you want to do with Khmer, right? Like you said, you have a good economy, you don't need an amazing town centers or like just one TC is fine. And now use the mobility with the Bloodline Knights to just make it so hard for your opponent. Vinchester, what can he do versus this? He has no defense here and he's focusing on the push one ram three monks. Man, seriously, what is this? No, but but this is this is so weird. I mean, I think he's really tilt with the with the with what happened in the previous game. He was in much better position. Now he has double barrel at home, but zero pikes. He just suicide himself. I mean, if he did the second TC, just stay booming then with pikes and and monks at home and go for the boom. No, I mean. Yeah, I I agree with that. I agree with that actually, especially since he added the second TC. You know what I mean? If you want to push, you push. But if you want to play it safe, play it safe all the way. I agree with that, man, for sure. But Stay he back, never, boom he never got tight. army. He never got army to push, yeah. actually. Even, even with the army he got at home, he really never got army to push. So Leary, it's uh, in in the way to take this game. Like, uh, well, he's going with Rams, but he got three more, four. It's, I cannot explain. It's speechless. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening, by the way, here. Like, this push makes no sense. Rams, monks with nothing to follow it up with. At home, Winchester is kind of dead with the eco. This makes no sense. Like, Mem said, I don't know. <laughs> this is weird. This is and really now those weird. knights will kill everything and he will call the GG. 
Yeah, most likely, right? Because Leary is completely untouched, now adding a second town center on the side. Vinchester lost his whole push, and, well, Leary is more than happy now with the position. Up 13 villagers, has better control, and uh, I think Vinchester is pretty dead here. Wow. Well, the whole push. What push, man? Like, uh... Yeah. <laughs> This, quotation push yeah man the 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 the, the forward buildings that was very weird <laughs> i i only think that yeah seriously it looks like the what happened with the with the drop affected him seriously yeah, yeah. i feel it i really feel it yeah. it's uh, it was unfortunate sad because he got uh, it was a potential amazing game in com but then he played really weird in this one seriously and yeah Leary i have, took I, I have to agree with that yeah, well, well played to Leary for the 3-0. Again, I feel really bad for Vinchester. Um, it was in a leading position the game before. It wasn't completely over, but he was definitely ahead, and uh, and it drops. It's always tough for that, and like you said, it probably affected his mentality going into this game, as he was already down 2-0. It happens, guys. These things, uh, you know, no one's really at fault here. It's just this the way but, things but go still, sometimes. I mean, we have to be... I mean... The previous game, it was ahead, but Lee was in similar situation like this one. He got the army forward. Yeah. He was going to go up as well. I mean, it wasn't too different. Of course, it was more ahead than in this one, but similar approach. So, yeah. well, but still, it affected the mentality for sure. Yeah, I actually think Lee would have won the last game, uh, even if it didn't drop, because I think Kamur is like really strong in castage, like I said. But uh, it was definitely a better game than, than Vinchester got with this one. But anyway, you know, Leary won three games today. So all things considered, he's uh, definitely the guy deserving to go, th you know, to to get the victory in the set. And it's not over for Vinchester. He will go and play Nikov now in a in an elimination game uh, well, next now, week. Uh, yeah, we are checking all the achievements. This is the, the the last game, and we're gonna check right now what is gonna happen the next the next weekend because it's gonna be just yeah. insane. And we can put it here. Thank you, Arlo, for for the host. We have. The next weekend, Saturday, 13 GMT, Hira, uh, Mr. Yo versus NBL, Nico versus, versus Winchester, Lear versus Doubt, and Chad versus Stride Dog, which is very interesting because the, the winner, uh, I mean, the winner of the 1-1 uh, victories, it will be already in quarterfinals. And then the winner mm -hmm. with the, of, the, let's say, the losers will face the, the third week for a decider, you know? So, yeah. the, the next weekend is just, well, incredible. M much more yeah. exciting than, than, than this one. <laughs> yeah, so uh, basically, this weekend is just like the first set of the games to the group stage. Nothing has been decided right now, right? It's just, you know, first first game, put people in good position, put others in dangerous position, like Nikov and uh, and uh, Stray Dog and Charts. Um, but and, and Winchester as well. But everyone still has a chance to make it through, and uh, we'll see what happens next week. I see some amazing games there for sure. Uh, amazing! I think games. my most excited one, most excited one, is Leary Doubt, but also NBL Yo is really exciting as well. Yeah, perfect, man, perfect. Thank you, guys. Hopefully, you All have right. enjoyed with this three zero. There you go. This is Leary. Let's see if we're gonna listen to him. I don't listen to him. Wait, wait, wait. I think it. I think it's. Is is muted? Are you muted or is me? You hear me, right? Let's see if we Yeah, look at the kid. <laughs> okay. I see I see you, but I don't hear you. Oh the symbol is is here with the with the headphones. Okay. Hello? Working now well? I hear you. Now now I hear you. What's up, Mr. Leary? And now, since now you are a professional, now you have to 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 watch to the webcam. Professional tempo oh, player. Fuck, it's, that's awkward, man. Come on, it's awkward. No, now you are now you are a professional tempo. Well, congratulations for sure. joining the joining the team with with Mr. Hira. Thank you. Took a while, actually. Took a while. What? Can you explain? The, can, do you want to explain a little bit the process or something, or well, whatever you want to say about that? Well. Uh... Obviously, Hero was picked up first, and um, they wanted to get more into the scene. So Hero requested or recommended me, and we have been talking for like a week. Uh, well, I have been talking with Hero and uh, the, the Tempo boys about the contract and everything, and uh, the scene and all that stuff, basically. And 
Yeah, we were we were thinking when to announce it, and we thought sometime during KTD, preferably before the group stage. But um, yeah, I think it was fine like this as well. So it's good timing, man, with the top sixteen yeah. players and uh, with, with, yeah, with all so the too. hype and with with your virtual daddy, it was all good, man. Yeah, <laughs> look Fit at that well, as well. <laughs> virtual, only virtual, yeah. because you don't want that. I mean, your I, I mean, your dad, <laughs> you really don't want anyway. Congratulations. Um, Leary, about the games today, um, what happened in the first game because you were behind, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think I was behind in every game at some point, actually. I yes, actually, think, yes. Yeah, yeah, I think I wasn't playing at my best. I think I always had a slip up or two, but then I started, um, um playing my regular form again after the few mistakes I made. And then I came back to shape kind of, and kind of come back, so. Okay, the, the game one was, uh, was kind of uh, amazing because there was a point that you were, you lost four or five bellies. Uh, we just didn't lose anything. That was the moment where you were behind. And then the, yeah. next, the next time we check, you still four bellies uh, lost and then we just did 27. Yeah, the raids were pretty good. That kind of gave me the opportunity to come back. And the uh, map is all obviously perfectly suited for that, so it was good. So are you happy with your with your performance to, uh, today uh, overall? Um, well, it's a, it's a win. Obviously, I didn't play my best, but I feel like that's what kind of defines the best players. Also, the best clubs everywhere, basically. Even if they don't have a best day or a good day, they still win. So overall, yes, but I definitely have to step it up. Okay, I want to ask you then uh, what happened? It crashed for, for you both in the in the third game? Um, well, it didn't crash for me at first. Uh, I was still playing and like suddenly I hear Discord messages popping up. And then I even saw some someone me messaging me on Steam. So I tapped out and it was Corsini telling me I should pause. And then I saw Winchester typing that he dropped. So I kind of paused and then we discussed a bit. And then uh, Winchester tried to save or like tried to restore the game but he didn't have it so i tried to save but when i unpaused to save the game it just crashed well, for me as well so i didn't have i didn't have the restore file either so i had to start a new game which was kind of unfortunate for him because i'm pretty I, I was behind that game pretty sure but so, obviously yeah. not that behind that i was like completely dead or anything so no you, you were similar behind with the previous game with the first game more or less you know, yeah, like exactly. was similar mm -hmm. situation, and then in that situation you have to repeat because you were behind in the first game, and then uh, you, you could come back. Anyway, yeah. um, the next week you're gonna face Doubt. Did you watch the games with from Doubt and Nikov? I watched the first two. Okay, what do, what do you think about Doubt performing those series? He he surprised, uh, expected. What do you think? I wouldn't say expected, but I'm um, not surprised. Um, Doubt definitely plays different in tournaments. Definitely plays way sharper, and I think Esther had some. I mean, Nikov had some slip ups as well. They both played well, but um, uh, yeah, Tao just played sharper at the end. He was just more ready, more focused, and that's what it came down to. So, Lee, we're gonna we can hype people that uh, the next weekend, uh, Lee versus Tao is gonna be an incredible series. You can that hope for smile, that, man. That the smile means. <laughs> we'll do my best, man. We'll do my best. What can I say? Okay, okay. Well, congratulations, and uh, we're going to see Doubt versus Leary the next weekend with that smile. Thank you for coming, Mr. Leary. Thank you. Thank you, man. Bye-bye. Well, guys, this is, this is Leary. This is Leary. You see how he smiles. He enjoy a lot also playing the tournaments, and uh, hopefully you really have enjoyed like, uh, well, like I did, man, like I really did.